Hi, I'm Eric McEwen from the Science of Hearing, here with Sherry McGregor, audiologist and longtime owner of Highland Hearing Clinic in Annie Ganish and Port Hawkesbury, Nova Scotia. Welcome, Sherry. Thank you. Sherry, I'm told that you teach an oral rehabilitation class at your clinic. Now, when I say oral, I mean A-U-R-A-L, as in ears and hearing. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, when we give people hearing aids, we don't want to just send them out the door and wish them good luck. We want to help them along the way. And hearing well is a process. And because communication is a two-way street, that process should involve the family. Is it important that partners or family members take part in the classes? Well, they, they often think that hearing aids are going to fix everything. And we're not giving them new ears. And so when we send them home, they're still going to have some issues, and we want the family to be aware of that. For example, they may not still hear them from another room talking to them in the house, and it's, they're still going to hear them better if they can see their face when they're talking, so to face them. And so we get into a lot of communication strategies to help the two of them make it easier to communicate at home. Can you tell me one of the topics that you discuss in the class? Mm, so we have to help them communicate outside the home as well as inside. So often people want to know, well, how can I hear better in a restaurant? So we give them lots of tips there. And any situation where people don't hear well, we say, is there anything you can do about the environment to make it easier to hear? Like at a meeting, you might sit closer to the person who's chairing the meeting, sit up close at, at, near the front at church, for example. But in a restaurant, you can choose which restaurant you're going to. That's the first thing. Some restaurants are noisy, some are quieter, so you can choose the quieter ones. And you can also choose what day of the week you're going to a restaurant often. So some nights are busier than others. I was recently at a restaurant with my son, and I forgot it was her busiest night of the week, which is Friday night. People go there after work, and I was having a really hard time hearing my son, and my hearing still considered normal. Is there anything that people who wear hearing aids should keep in mind? Yes, definitely. Um, most modern hearing aids come with what we call directional microphones nowadays. So what they do is when things get noisy, they will start to focus on the person that they're facing, assuming you're looking at the person you want to hear, and they try to cut down the background noise of things behind you. And that'll happen automatically. But you have to think about which way you're going to sit at a table in a restaurant, because you can use that to your advantage. So for example, if I sat in a restaurant with my back to the wall, now all the noise is in front of me. It's not behind me. So it's not going to cut down on the background noise. It's going to focus on the front, which is where all the noise is coming from, as well as the person you're trying to hear. So ideally, I ask them to try to sit on the other side of the table so their, their back is to all the other tables when possible, and so it'll cut down more of the room noise and focus on the person they're trying to hear. Sherry, have any of the participants shared any real life experiences as to what's happened to them in the restaurants? Yeah, a lot of them come in saying they have difficulty when they play music in the restaurant, which is pretty common nowadays. And so I really encourage them to ask the wait staff, is there any way they can turn it down a little bit? Because there's probably other people in the restaurant who are also struggling to hear over the music. And when you think about it, you didn't go there to listen to music. You went to have a nice time out with a friend or family member and to have you know, a nice meal together. So that's the goal. So do you have any more tips for people going to restaurants? Yeah. One tip that people often don't think about is when we order our food, they're often going to ask us questions about the details of what we ordered. Like if you order a salad, you have to say what dressing you want. If you're ordering eggs, you have to tell them how you want them done. So I really encourage my patients to say those things right up front so they're not even asked the question. They don't have to hear the question. So tell them you want your beef done medium well right up front and you don't have to hear the question. And basically our goal is to have a good time. And so even if you don't hear every word, you know, just enjoy the fact that you didn't have to make the meal yourself, you don't have to do the dishes, and you're there with people that you care about. So even if you don't get every word, just enjoy the moment. Thanks very much, Sherry. That was some fantastic information. Thank you.